Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you guys about what I think is a significant milestone in American history. Okay, So what do I mean by milestone? Okay, so this is something happened this past week where I think in the future uh, people will be able to look back and say, hey, you know, this is the week where things started changing. Okay, So what I'm talking about is Trump's uh, arrest and arraignment this past week. And this is not about Trump the man, okay? It's not. It's not even about Trump the president. Uh, in in it's not even about the charges against him or what his defense is going to be or whether he's going to run for re-election. It, it's it's not about that. Okay? Uh, the milestone is that uh, for the first time in American history, I think. Okay, I, what I think is the first time. There may have been other events, but I think from from for, from what I recollect. Okay, from my understanding of American history, this is, I think, the first time um, where, uh, where, where we've had a political arrest of such magnitude. Okay, so um, is it, regardless of what you think of Trump and, I, uh, Trump, and I really dislike him for the bump stock ban, right? I never got over that. Uh, and it's true, I will probably vote for Trump if he is the Republican nominee. But you know what? I would I just as well, like, I'll vote for whoever the Republicans give me. And not because I so much believe in the Republicans or I'm a hardcore Republican, uh, but because I need something to fight back against Democrats with. Okay, So whatever I have available to me to fight back against Democrats with, I will accept. Okay, So I just wanted you guys to understand... My political position to me, the Republicans are just a tool to use against the Democrats and what they're doing to this country. But the reason why I say that this is a major milestone is because um, what what let's put this way: it, about fifty percent of the population believes that that this is a politically motivated arrest. Okay, that um, that if it was a a Democrat that had done the same thing. Uh, he would not be. He would not have been arrested. He would not have been charged. Okay. So about fifty percent of the people believe that this is politically motivated, um, and then the other fifty percent believe that this was justified. Okay. Uh, so there's a major divide here, right? So you've got a major political leader. Okay. Whether I like him or not, that's not important. But he's a major political leader with a large following. Okay. That about fifty percent of the population. Uh, perceives now as being, uh, you know, as being politically uh, persecuted through the legal system, okay? So this is a, a big change, right? Because this is going to change the way at least 50% of the population views the legal system, okay? Uh, um, now, we've, we're, we've kind of, we're already at that point. We've already been at that point, I think, for at least the last four years, right? At least the last four years, if not longer, Okay. Um, but now it's like, you know, I mean, something big has happened that you can point, you know, looking back, you'll be able to point history and you can say, hey, this is the point right here, you know, where they arrested an ex-president of the United States for political purposes. Okay? Um, and what this generally leads to is escalation, OK, because uh, the other side is not going to take this lying down because what they were able to do with Trump here, right, is they went to a jurisdiction where the Democrats had like complete control, okay, and they basically said, hey, what do we, you know, what what do we have here that we can possibly charge this person with? And basically, they, you know, they they they, they, they you know, they did whatever they had to do to come up with some way. Of, of charging him, right, and arresting him, okay, so they did whatever they had to do, um, and the reason why they were able to do this is because on this side over here, you know, they had complete control of the courts, okay, so what's going to happen, right, is the other side is not going to say, hey, if it works for them, it's going to work for us too, so the next time they have a, uh, a Democrat candidate, I don't know, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, you know, you know, uh, next time they have a Democrat candidate that they dislike, okay, they're going to go to a court, right, or, or state with a, with a court that they can control, and they're going to find a way to charge him with 
something okay so that's where we're at now right that's that's where we're at because once once one side does it the other side has to maintain balance because if you don't do what they did they're just going to keep walking all over you so somehow you have to balance this side up so the only way to balance it is that you have to do the same right you have to um yeah you have to pick one of their uh, questionable political candidates and now you gotta come up with some charges and you gotta arrest him and you gotta run him through the uh, legal system just for the sake of, you know, of, of keeping that, that balance, that, you know, that, that power balance even, okay? Um, so that's where we're at. So where this usually goes, right? So this, this is going to play itself out. And again, I'm talking now future, right? Uh, probably after I'm 51 years old, 50 years from now, right? After I'm gone. So I've got nothing to do with this, right? So 50 years from now, after I'm gone, right? After, you know, probably be gone before then. But by the time I'm gone, what's going to happen is that this is going to eventually escalate to the next level, okay? Uh, the next level, and this is something that I have seen, I've, I've, I've uh, studied repeatedly in my, in my you know, historical studies, uh, referencing back to Rome, there was what they call the murder of the Gracchi brothers, right? So the Gracchi brothers, I'm not going to go into the details of what they're trying to do, but it was a politically motivated murder, okay? They, uh, the, uh, the senators uh, with their mob murdered these two brothers, uh, I, I think, in the capital city, I think out, right outside of the, the Senate uh, building from what I hear. And again, that moved things up to a different level, okay? Because once you introduce, you know, because, you know, once, you're, once you get passed into... Once, you know, one side starts killing people, now the other side has to start killing people too. Um, so that's going to be the next phase. I don't know how long it will take to get there, but eventually it will get there, right? This current level where now they're, they're fighting each other uh, in the court systems with, you know, they're going to be both making up bogus charges to try and attack each other. Eventually this is going to move from there to, uh, to a much more... Uh, violent level, okay, it's going to, to, to real violence, okay, uh, again, not in my lifetime, not condoning it, none of that stuff, but it's going to happen, this is what typically happens as you uh, study history, I don't know how long it will take to get to that level, but eventually you're going to have, you're going to have one side starting to ta target the other side, uh, and you're going to start seeing murders, um, and then what's going to happen is uh, the different law enforcement agencies are also going to start taking sides, right, uh, you know, because because you're going to have, let's say, for example, the New York City cops, right? You know, they're going to protect their own politicians. You know, same thing with, uh, you know, all the other uh, police throughout the country. They're all going to start taking sides, right? So now the, the now you're going to start having these police factions, um, you know, um, you know, protecting one side, trying to hurt the other side. Uh, and then eventually this is going to extend even further into the military, right? So the military eventually is going to start taking sides. Uh, and then this is going to, you know, civil wars are really ugly, man. Civil wars are ugly. I've uh, I spent quite a bit of time studying civil wars. I've, I've talked to people who have uh, been involved and even participated uh, in civil wars around the world, right? You know, I, I'm not talking like 100 years ago. I'm talking modern day civil wars. Civil wars are brutal. Civil wars are not about the soldiers on one side trying to kill the soldiers on the other side, right? If we're in a civil war, basically, I'm trying to kill your kids. You're trying to kill my kids. Uh, I'm not interested in killing you. I want to kill your kids or you want to kill my kids because you're trying to inflict as much pain. It's about inflicting pain, uh, psychological pain to the other side. So that is a civil war. That's why civil wars are extremely brutal. The American Civil War that happened back in the, you know, between 60, 18, 1860 to 1865, I even though it's, it's considered a civil war, I really don't really consider that a true civil war because the states were so, like, separate. Uh, like, you got the North and, and the South. It was almost like you had two nations fighting each other, right? So, you know, because the, you know, the, um, you know, the boundaries were so well-defined, the different armies were so well-defined uh, that it, it was really more of, um, of two nations fighting each other. And then, ultimately, the Northern nation conquered the Southern nation. Uh, so that I don't consider that a true civil war, and that's why I think that um, even though there was some, um, you know, you know, a lot of, I mean, in some cases civilians were targeted, right? Um, you know, it, it wasn't as bad as I think a civil war normally is. Um, 
and also what happened is after the Civil War, they were kind of able to come together because it was more of like, okay, one nation kind of annexed the other nation, right? So that's why I think that after the American Civil War, the, the North and the South were able to come back together. Um, so anyway, those, that's my thought on that. I think we've reached a stage, a new level now, right? A new level uh, of American history where uh, the two sides are now going to start using the political system uh, to target each other. So my thoughts on that, let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you all soon.